In this video, we will be solving this question which says, As you may recall, Nancy Lerner is taking Professor Stern's economic course. She will take two examinations in the course and her score for the course is the minimum of the scores that she gets on the two exams. Nancy wants to get the highest possible score for the course. So with this information, we are asked, write the utility function that represents Nancy's preferences over alternative combinations of the test score X1 and X2 on test 1 and test 2 respectively. We are given that X1 represents the score on first test and X2 represents the score of second test. According to the professor, a final score for the course would be the minimum of the scores that she gets on two exams. That means if X1, that is the score on first test, is less than the X2, that is the score on second test, then the professor would be considering the score on the first test. Or if X2 is less than X1, that is the score on second test is less than the score on first test, then the professor would be considering the score of second test as it is the lower or the minimum of the two. And if they are equal, then it does not matter which score is considered as they both are equal. So that would be X1 or X2. Now if I summarize this and write it in a formal manner, then this function turns out to be which is your utility function and your utility function would be the function of two variables which is x1 and x2 so that is u of x1 comma x2 would be equal to minimum of x1 comma x2 now let's verify if this function is correct or not suppose nancy scores 50 on x1 and 52 on x2 now since x1 is less than x2 then the score of x1 should be considered that is the score of 50 should be considered let's substitute the values of x1 and x2 into this into this function and see if that happens as well so that would be u of x1 comma x2 is equal to minimum of x1 which is 50 and x2 which is 52. Now the minimum of 50 and 52 is 50. So the answer would be 50. Hence it matches with this condition. Now let's take another example where x2 is less than x1. So that would be, now suppose if we want x2 to be less than x1. Suppose your x1 is 70 and x2 is 50. Thus here your x2 is less than x1 and the minimum of the two would be x2. Thus the score of 50 would be considered. Again substituting the value into this function we would get u of x1 comma x2 is equal to minimum of x1 comma x2 and x1 in this case is 70 and x2 is 50. So the minimum of 70 and 50 is 50 thus the answer would be 50. So this condition is also satisfied. Now let's verify for this condition. There is no particular need to verify all these conditions. I am doing so, so that you can numerically see that all these three conditions sum up to this single function. Now let's come to the third condition where x1 is equal to x2. Now suppose that would be 50. And since they both are equal, the minimum of the two would be 50. Substituting into this equation, that would be u of x1 comma x2 is equal to minimum of 50 comma 50 as x1 is taking the value of 50 and x2 is also taking the value of 50. So that would be 50, which was something we got here. Thus, the utility function that represents the Nancy's preferences over the alternative combination of test scores x1 and x2 on test 1 and test 2 respectively is minimum of x1 comma x2. So that was all for this question.